Hey y'all, so today I'm coming to y'all with a different kind of video. This is not what you normally see me as, but I wanted to do a day in the life where y'all get to follow me, a plus size model, going to a shoot. Now, this isn't necessarily work um, for pay. This is more like a test shoot to help with my portfolio, um, and then they get pictures as well. But it's going to be really similar. The way that today is set up, it's going to be really similar to what a day of working would actually look like um so first i wanted to sh just show y'all how i do my hair and makeup before i go like how i prep you know that's important so yeah. first well today since my hair is straight it's wrapped and that makes it easy for me they didn't ask me to straighten it which clients will do that but um I, I worked the other day and they wanted me to have it straightened so you know when I straighten it I'm not I'm gonna keep it for a couple of days and by doing that and like making sure it stays straight of course I have to wrap it so usually when I have my hair straight I just leave it down but today I'm gonna do a like, little side swoop kind of thing um, and it is time to go too pretty soon so um, having my hair straight like I said it makes it so much easier than prepping your curls and um, refreshing them and all that so I hope y'all really like this video because I know when I start when I was doing videos about modeling they get a lot of views because I think people are just like really curious especially um, about plus size and how they can like how people can become plus size models I used to get questions about that a lot when I was posting videos about that I still get questions about Barbizon I'm not ignoring y'all, it's just like I can't answer if it's a scam and that's what most of the questions are like should I think that they should do it and the thing is that I said in my video I'm pretty sure that um, you don't have to go through Barbizon to find an agency. like. I found my agency through Barbizon, but I wasn't scouted by them through Barbizon. I went home and did my own work by like putting in submissions. I found every every agency that I could find that was like bigger, more notable in New York, LA, Europe, like all the major markets. And I just submitted pictures and my agency that I'm with now which is formerly MSA but now it's state they get back to me and I made the move here so no I do not think you can go through bar no I don't think you have to go through Barbizon is it a scam I don't think so I learned a lot of good stuff I don't know if it was worth that money but it was still a good experience for me and the thing is that people there's different schools my school is really good and I still can call my teacher today as a mentor and she gives me advice so anyways enough with that um, so this is what my hair looks like pretty simple um, now for my skin routine, I don't do nothing special. I already took a shower and I just, I washed my face last night. So today I just like wetted it, wetted it. I just, you know, like refreshed it. And so what I use is Shea Moisture, um, Daily Hydration Face Lotion. And then I use, where is it? Argon Oil. And that's it and this like brings my face like 
it makes it look so smooth and it it's like a primer to me like my pores are non-existent when i put this stuff on especially the coconut it wants to come out anyways so that's about as much as i put on and then make sure i get my nose and all my porous areas you don't want to use anything too like greasy even though once you get there the makeup artist usually wipes your face and then re-moisturizes it but you still want to make sure that like on your way there like it was prepped good and then not a lot of oil And argon oil is also good for your hair, so if I have access, of course, you know I'm not wasting it, especially these ends. Alright, it is time to go. We need to go. I need to go. I'm going to be late. And another thing about today is that I'm shooting with... So it's beauty, which is like, you know, up here. And a lot of times brands won't hire a plus size model. I don't know why, because what is my stomach or my hips or anything matter about my face? Um, but I'm today I'm gonna be the only plus size model at this shoot out of five models. So that's really exciting. Okay, so real quick before I leave, which I need to be like in an Uber yesterday, but um <clears throat> i'm wearing a onesie from old navy really cute new jersey's acting right and it's gonna be 89 today so this should be really light and airy that's what the back looks like and then for my shoes i'm wearing these um steve madden creepers slip on <clears throat> these are my go-to shoes so comfortable so yeah, I guess we are about to be on our journey. Okay y'all, so I am done for the day. I'm walking around with my face snatched. But it's alright, cause I'm just cuter than everyone else. <laughs> just joking. Anyways, that is a wrap. Hope y'all enjoyed some of the footage. And let me know if y'all like these, um, oh my gosh, these type of videos. <laughs>